Hello class, welcome to data analytics and strategic decision making. Today we'll go over an introduction on some of the mechanics of um, the Harvard Business Data Analytics Simulation and Strategic Decision Making module. First, I'll just briefly go over the background. Um, there, is, there are some guides here um, that you can download yourself. Um, there's a how to play guide and the data driven management of blue detergent. Um, but generally, all your acting, the, the role acting, or the role play here is that you're hired as a brand manager at Kelsey White, and you're managing their um, new data analytics platform called KW Vision. And so there's um, these advanced analytics that allow you to drive informed decision making about the KW brands, and the one that you're in charge of is um, the blue laundry detergent. So your goal is to lead the brand's turnaround and to use the vision analytics platform to develop your strategy and to grow Blue's market share over the next four years. So I'm going to let you guys download this if you um, need, and I'll just walk through some of these tabs just to get you started. So here you'll see the market share. Blue is, um, has a tiny market share at 11%, while Turbo has 44%. Profitability um, shows that Turbo is leading the market and Blue is all the way down here. Similarly for revenue. And then here's a visual representation of the demand by demand of Blue by region. And in the US, it's um, West Coast, Central, Southeast, and Northeast. So there are also reports that are generated. You have three, four years worth of data um, from 2015 to 2018. And it's broken down into revenue costs um, and your operating profits, accumulating oper operating profits. You can also see production versus inventory. You can look at pricing over time, both yours and your competitors. So you can make decisions on whether you want to be a, pre you want to compete on a premium brand basis or you want to position yourself as a value brand. There's also social sentiment analysis where it shows um, the sentiment over time from 2015 to 2018. You can also look at the live feed to see what consumers' feedback is on Blue. In the Data and Explorer tab, um, you have maybe about a dozen or so different tabs. I won't go through all of them, but you can quickly go through operating profit, revenue, market share, brand demand, brand sales. Um, you should take a look at formulation demand for pods, liquid, and powder. That's one of the key decisions you'll have to make. You also have to make decisions about um, media consumption, where you want to focus your ad spend. You also have to look at the brand attribute demand and how you want to position your product in the market against the other competitors. You also need to uh, make decisions on how much you want to allocate or your trade, jam, uh, trade channels, whether it's a convenience club, grocery, or mass. And then finally, you'll have to look at price point. Um, that's going to be a key, probably one of the key things you'll have to make decisions on. And you can also look at households where you can break it down into income under 20,000, 20 to 40, 40 to 60, 60 and above. You can break it into all different ethnicities household sizes, again, the same regions that we've broken up before, as well as age. And you can also filter this for all of these different characteristics. Here's also geographical demand, a visual representation, visual representation um, over time in the 50 states. And again, you can further break this down if you like in, um, between income and ethnicity, household size, and age. And over time, once you make decisions, you have basically four years worth of simulations. Um, you can see how everything's broken down. So let me just run one or two simulations for you to get you started. So for now, um, okay, sometimes it takes a little time to load. Let's just say I'll just fill it up with, with the previous demand. So I just click that here, but you can also do a more detailed version and sort of break down the data into the different geographies, how much is anticipated for regional demands. You can also look at what's 
demand, uh, what the forecasted demand in 2019 is across the nation. So I'm going to be conservative and just pick something here in the middle of the bell curve. I'll also choose um, just something basic, just the previous channel price, just to see what happens. I'm not, I, I know how to play this game, but let's just, okay, well, let's just for fun. Let's say we want to go cheaper for today. We can go the other ways uh, as well to go um, to signal a price premium. Um, let's just say we'll keep it at powder and odor elimination. Let's say we want to keep channel spend e um, equal across the channels for this year, but for media spend, let's say I want to double my digital ad spend and I want to cut out radio because I feel like that's where my audience is going to be. Let's say I want to focus on this socioeconomic bracket. Let's say I'll leave ethnicity alone for now. I'll leave household size alone. For now, I'll leave regional. You guys can play around with this. Um, I believe in the brief, they mentioned something about trying to target younger people. And you can write your own strategic plan. So my, in my case, it's... Um, I'm going to be uh, focusing on powder and odor illumination and keeping the channel spend equal, but increasing my media spend in digital. And let me just submit the decision. So please do fill out your strategic decision so that I can sort of see how things are going. Okay, it looks like it was a disastrous decision. So if I'm not fired by now. Let's see if we can make a turnaround. So let's just say, I'll make another, I'll go through my reports again, seeing what happened. Okay, I only made $0.9 million versus 37.8, so that's a disastrous, I made a series of disastrous decisions. Um, let's see if this year I can make a different set of decisions. And I'm not gonna go through all of this, but you can sort of figure out what's going on. And let's say this time I'm going to increase my reduction to where I feel like the demand should be. Maybe I'll even be a little bit aggressive, say. And let's say, what was I doing last time? Let's just try something else. And then let's see, maybe I overplayed some specificities. Let's see what happens this time. And so normally I would just write this down, but just for the sort of purpose of simulation, let's see what happens. All right, so it'll bounce up. And so you can play around with this and sort of see some of the consequences of your decisions over time. And um, the decisions history here is I've only run it for two years. I'll leave it as an exercise for you guys to go through um, not just one set of simulations over four years, but hopefully um, a couple, if not a handful, so you get a sense of what are the decisions that you want to make and what's the strategic plan you want to execute on. But for now, uh, this is a good little introduction to how the simulation works. And then we will have a debrief next week for week three um, so please do run the simulation a few times. It shouldn't take that long, but it will be informative and it will be hopefully a good icebreaker for a conversation next week. All right. Thank you, class, and looking forward to next week.